You may be familiar with Sphinx cats from seeing Mr. Bigglesworth sitting on the lap of Dr. Evil, but there's more to this special breed of cat than you might think. We found several unique things that many people aren't actually aware of, such as many people think Sphinx cats are bald, but they actually have a fine layer of peach-like fuzz that covers their entire body. And despite being nearly hairless, they come in a variety of patterns and colors. We've got the facts for you to get to know the breed in this video, and we reached out to our Sphinx expert friend, Terry Thorstensen, a veterinary healthcare professional who just retired in 2019 after working in the field since her early 20s. And she has shared her life with her Sphinx cat, Disco Noferno, who recently went to the Rainbow Bridge, but she knows all the ins and outs about raising a healthy Sphinx cat, and she'll share her expertise throughout the video. Sphinx cats and the Great Sphinx of Giza actually don't have that much in common other than their name. Sphinx cats originated in Canada and not Egypt. In the 1960s in Ontario, a hairless kitten was born as a result of a natural genetic mutation. And then again, in the 1970s, two sets of hairless kittens were born in Toronto and Minnesota. Today, we have the breed originally called the Canadian hairless thanks to breeding efforts. And another bonus fact is that there are several other hairless cat breeds out there, such as the Donskoy from Russia, but their hairlessness is actually the result of a different genetic mutation. And we already mentioned that hairless doesn't actually mean bald because they come in a variety of colors and patterns and their skin pigment can vary with the little bit of peach fuzz that they have. So some of the colors you might see them come in are white, black, blue, red, silver, brown, and orange. And some of the different patterns are solid colors, tortoiseshell-like, bicolor, tricolor, tabby, ticking, which is a little bit like leopard, but tiny. And they're also smoke and shaded. My Sphinx Disco was genetically an orange tabby. So he had orange pigment in his skin. So when he was young, he had tabby stripes. But as he got older, those disappeared. Sphinx cats eat a ton. They have a faster metabolism and actually need more food than your average cat. They also have a different kind of body shape than other cats. If you were to shave a regular cat down, it wouldn't look like a sphinx cat. Their body shape is special. If you look at a sphinx, they're built a little different. People go, are they, are, are all cats that wrinkly under, under their fur? No, no, they're not. Sphinx cats actually need a ton of regular grooming, including baths. Because they are naked and don't have a full coat of fur, they actually need more care than other feline breeds. Something people don't realize with Sphinx cats, they think because they're hairless, they don't require any grooming, but that's far from the truth. If you see a normal coated cat, their fur is shiny, and that is because cats produce a lot of skin oils normally, but a furred cat, the fur absorbs that, and that's what keeps it waterproof and shiny. With a Sphinx cat, because they don't have much fur, they require grooming. My cat wasn't particularly oily, the Sphinx I had, but I would bathe him twice a month. And I tell people, you know when it's time for a bath, when their feet become to be smelly. And speaking of all that grooming care, Sphinx cats are not hypoallergenic. Sad. But the allergen produced by cats is called FELD1, maybe FELD1. And Sphinxes still produce it. It's in their saliva and skin, just like it is on other cats. It's just not in their fur because they don't really have a full thing of fur. So all of that itchiness and redness that happens in your eyes from cat allergens still happens with Sphinx cats. Sphinx cats also have pretty sensitive skin. Not only are they sensitive to what you put on their skin, but they can also get sunburned. One of the most common questions people ask me when they see a Sphinx is, do they get sunburned? Yes, they do. Unfortunately, there's not a pet safe sunscreen out there, but there is sun blocking clothing. There's sun block you can put on your windows if they like to lay in the sun, which what cat doesn't like to lay in a sun puddle? But yes, they do get sunburned. Speaking of sun and warmth, Sphinx cats have a warmer body temperature than other felines. The average range for a cat's body temperature is anywhere from 99 to 102.5. And sphinx fall into that higher end range and even sometimes registering a little over that. So it's important if you have a sphinx, check with your vet on what their average body temperature should be. And even though sphinx cats are a little bit warmer, they love to seek out warmth. And that includes if you leave out a heating pad, sun puddles, and even us people. 
They think of humans as warm-blooded furniture. So they're going to seek you out to sit on you, to be with you, to sleep under the covers with you because you're warm and they like warm things. The most important fact, we believe, is that Sphinx are friendly and affectionate. They love being with their people, so they want to receive all the love and affection back that they will give to you. One of the most special things about being a mom to a Sphinx cat is how needy they are. They don't run off when company comes over. They're right there saying hello. And we hope that you learned something new about Sphinx cats and how unique and special they truly are. Leave us a comment and let us know what you thought was the coolest fact about Sphinx cats or if we missed something, how else are they unique? And if you enjoy short videos just like this one about the pets and animals who we love, then hit that subscribe button so that we show up in your inbox whenever we publish a new one.